The Fountain, Day 177, The Dress and a Loving Father. We never truly know when we will walk into a moment of healing and release. If there's one thing I've learned over the last three years in particular, it's that only God knows the depth of the healing that I require, and he will not leave me undone. He always makes a way for me to process. He knows my every wound. He knows your every wound. And in his great love, he offers invitations to us. I received one such opportunity this week. Years ago, when Chris and I moved for a brief time to Florida, I found a clothing store that I fell in love with. The clothes were notably expensive, but it was quality you could see. The decor of the shop was also so fun, and couches were placed around for weary husbands to sit as their wives shopped. Up until that time, I had never encountered a place so fine. The first time we went in, my creative side was stirred. I was determined to buy one article of clothing from there. Finding the least expensive item on the sale rack, I purchased a tank top, and I was so pleased. <clears throat> Fast forward to years later, Chris and I were owners of a business and had found much success. And naturally, my favorite place to shop was this one beautiful store. It was more than a store to me. It still is. It represents something deeper, a longing fulfilled, a turning of the tide, our step from what we once were to successful adults. Then we faced the loss of our business and during that time, I stopped going to the store. I knew I couldn't afford to buy things, so I just avoided booking. This week at the prompting of a sister, <clears throat> I went. She had no idea that I had been through this struggle with the store. When we arrived and began to walk through the door, I felt something quite unexpected. I mean, it's just a store, right? I felt a wave of grief so powerful that I literally wanted to turn and walk away. How unexpected. How strong the pain was. My stomach literally hurt and my breath escaped me for a moment. This same store that had been a marker of our success now seemed a marker of the reminder of defeat. Nobody knew I was struggling as I walked through the store. My son was with me and we chatted the whole time. I had told him that he would enjoy the creativity of design as we went there, even though it was a girl store. And he did. He looked past the clothes and noticed <clears throat> every cabinet and light fixture and all the things like that. And he saw the art of it all, just like I knew that he would. The lack in our finances pressed against my heart the whole time we walked around. Yet I pushed through and determined to just appreciate the beauty around me. Then my sister said, you should try on that dress. I was hoping you would. My breath caught in my throat and I shrugged off the words and kept walking. After having explored every inch of the store, I felt an invitation. God was inviting me to simply try on a dress. I said to my sister, I'm going to try on that dress. How could she replied. Then something really wonderful happened. As I turned, sorry, it's emotional. As I turned to walk to the rack with the dress, feeling nervous and experiencing grief inside, I heard him speak. Restoration. I am restoring you. I didn't write this, but those words came to me like a wind. It was all of a sudden like I was being carried. Immediately, I knew this moment was about far more an address. It was about believing again. It was about knowing this season of struggle 
would truly end. It was about believing that he holds a good future for us and I can fully trust it. I can trust in that. It was about feeling known and valued and loved. I tried on the dress, perfect fit. I felt beautiful. The fabric felt wonderful on my skin. I snapped a picture and sent it to Chris, who also raved about how wonderful I looked in it. Then I hung up the dress and I walked out of the store feeling content. And I knew we are being restored. I know what it is to be in need. I do. And I know what it is to have plenty. I remember. And I have learned. I have learned the secret of being content in any situation, whether well-fed or hungry, whether living in plenty or in want. I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. Philippians 4, 12 and 13. After Job had prayed for his friends, the Lord restored his fortunes and gave him twice as much as he had before. Job 42, verse 10.